Well, the leaves are starting to turn colors, and back here on the mountain, you can see that snow on top of it. Here in Alaska, we call that termination dust. Summer's over, and it just starts working its way down the mountain from there. Now, the woods are pretty thick around here, and this is pretty typical of what's around here. But I want to show this because because my next project here has got to do with a, a hunting blind or camouflage and you have to almost kind of see this to realize you're going to disappear 10 feet into that brush no matter what you're wearing. Now we've got a lot of bad weather here in Alaska and even if it's nice it can turn bad in an instant. Just rounding a, a bend in the river around the mountain the weather can be a completely different on the other side of that mountain anyway uh, one of my favorite pieces of kit is an umbrella that I keep strapped to my ugly sticks there because well that's where I use it the most go fishing and if it starts raining I just pop open the umbrella but that's the project for today I, I've camouflaged this umbrella and over the last few years it started to fade a little bit and I figured today I'll I'll redo it a little bit. I'm running out of time. Things are getting cold and I have to get this painted before well I just can't work with those kind of chemicals. Now I painted this umbrella several years back and this camouflage job that I did on it <laughs> seems to work excellent but it is starting to crack along, along places here. So what I'm going to do today is just try to redo it the way I've got it. Kind of go back over it and maybe get a few more years out of it. I have to do it now because like I say, it's getting cold. The leaves are ch changing colors and... I just don't have the ventilation in here to be spraying paint. I just use uh, rattle cans here and like I say with the garage door open I'll be able to breathe and this should dry up and be okay now. But a week or two from now, who knows. Well I've just got the OD green on there but it's the fumes are so thick I can I can't hardly breathe in there, so letting her air out. But I figured I'd say a few things about this umbrella first. Uh, a long time ago, I was looking through old World War II training films, and the German snipers used a, something similar to this. Of course, they'd build theirs out of uh, little twine and stuff, but they'd creep up into positions behind something like this and one thing it it does is movement gives up your your position pretty good so if you're behind this they can't see all those little movements uh, and it's light other places I've seen it was uh, in Southeast Asia with the refugees they had down there they all had umbrellas uh, so I started trying it out and it boy it just worked for me and in an instant I can pop it open and have a shelter and and a little fire going behind it to heat up a cup of coffee and it's not just for rain it stops the wind too it's a great little shelter and with a, a little stove or something behind it actually develops kind of a heat area behind it a little a little pocket of heat I just I love this thing and it weighs one one pound one ounce which is pretty light well there's the basic idea and for the most part all I'm doing is just breaking up a pattern so that you can't see any solid color there. Uh, one other thing is that I try to break up the, you know, soften the edges. 
So I just kind of freehand this. It really doesn't take a whole lot of, like I say, I showed you the woods around here. I'd show you a picture of this, but I've tried that before. It just disappears in the woods. You can't see it. Uh, and another thing about not seeing it, when this thing is folded up like a regular umbrella, I look like a normal guy walking down the street. I don't have to be all dressed head to toe and camouflaged to disappear out in the woods real quick. It's a kind of like a gray man thing. The paint's still a little wet, so there's a little bit of shine there, but it's, they're all flat colors. And by the time the garage, the fumes get out of the garage and the paint dries, I'll come back down here and uh, I'll put it all away. But that's it for today.